ladies and gentlemen, it has been confirmed. Pixelpar knows everything. This man is a freaking beast, okay? So I have to give this man props because people doubted him. Other YouTubers doubted him, but I didn't. I have trusted this man since the time that he said, or since the time that he actually leaked the Nintendo Direct. I've been like, this guy knows something, but how much though does he know? And is do the things he the, does the things that he know like do they make sense? And when he started posting his images, his his pictures of like uh, you know trainer red with Pikachu, blue with Eevee, um, the bug catcher in the Viridian Forest, and then also a Beluga, shit got interesting. Okay, things got really interesting. And guess what? It just got confirmed right here about an hour ago. Pixel Par. Confirmation that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Project's codename is Beluga. See Project's Beluga, taken from this video. Now, I'll go into that video itself. I'll look at the video itself and show you. But if you look at the top corner right there, right up there, it says C, and then like, you know, C Drive, Project's Beluga. The man was correct. He was right, and he knew about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee ahead of time. Even the image, the, the, the whole like, um... What's it called again? That uh, Lat- uh, not Latias, or Lapras image, sorry. That Lapras image that he leaked, that he leaked, okay? He leaked that image. He put that image out on the internet. I think he received it from some an insider, and then he leaked it. But this was information that comes secretly to these guys like Pixel Bar and some other people within the community that kind of like then give this information to us through hints and little like riddles and stuff. And Pixel Par was the first person to even like consider, like he was the one who had this whole riddle about Beluga, Project Beluga, aka the name of the project behind Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. It's it's confirmed. It is real. It is no bullshit. There's nothing sketchy about it. It's there. This image shows it as well, both under the file direction and on the top right, also showing a Dell screen. A coincidence. Dell Bell. Now you may be confused. What does this mean? What does Bell like the Dell mean? Well, oh my God, it's even crazier right now. Okay, so in his leaked images, which I'm gonna try to find here, I have to find these because this is this is just so much fun now. Like this is actually golden, and I I'm so excited because I want to find you these images. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of scrolling because these images are so old now. It's been such a long time since Pixel Park talked about this. Um, and, you know, these images were posted because, like, you know, Smash came out and but things have happened, essentially. Things have changed. Things have happened, you know, over time. And, uh, you know, let's go Pikachu. This was, like, ages ago. So we're back at June 11th. Let's go all the way down from June. And there's going to be so many tweets here because this was E3. So he was tweeting every minute, like, every rest of, you know, the rest of us. Um, let's go all the way down here. We'll find the images and you'll see what I mean. Basically, he posted a, a drawing, right? A drawing that said, like, project, uh, or it said, like, um... Uh, it said Bell, right? It, said, it didn't say Dell, like the screen does uh, over here, which you can see in this image. It wasn't Dell, it was Bell, which is it's just the coincidences, right? It's just like, hmm, very sketchy. But if you go further down here, we'll be able to find it, hopefully. Let's just continue, because uh, it's still not... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, we are down on the images now, and this is where he was drawing a bunch of stuff, right? Um, and people didn't believe him. People thought he was bullshitting. People thought he was not real. Look, look he even called out Relicify for calling him fake and stuff and attacking him. And, um, we continue down here and you'll see what I'm- Here we go! Here it is, guys! Here it is! Okay! Remember to not get too obsessed. Take breaks. Do- go do other stuff. What does it say right there? It says Bell, right? What's that? That's a beluga. AKA a white whale, so to say. It says Bell. What's the screen say right there? It's a Dell, right? Bell was supposed to be a joke on that. You've got Twitter up here with, you know, Celery, aka Cerebi, uh, Pickle Jar, Pixel Par, uh, Eurogamer, Eurogamer. So yeah, he knew about this. He knew about it ahead of time. It's insane, the fact that he knew this. Like, uh, so far ahead of time, he knew about this stuff. It's incredible. I just can't even, like... Oh, boy. Like, I'm just looking at my freaking... Uh... Man, there's so many, like crazy things going on, but, like, the man knew about this stuff ahead of time. I'm gonna scroll back all the way up. Again, he knew. He freaking knew 
all this time that this was real. He knew about Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee. And I think he knows what's going to be happening next year as well. I think he knows what we're going to be getting in 2019 as well. I mean, he probably has, is going to not talk about it now, but like when the time is right, he's probably going to get information about it. Like, no, he doesn't probably have info about it yet, but he's going to get info about it sooner or later. So uh, here you can actually see when they're in the offices here at Game Freak uh, showing the Pikachu. And there it is. The Oh, God, this is insane, man. This is actually incredible. The fact that he knew about this is incredible. Actually, I love seeing this because as I'm currently working with animations myself, I'm really having a lot of fun with them. Um, like, it's kind of fun to see, like, how uh, these are made and stuff. It's actually really awesome. And look at that. P Pikachu looking adorable. That's actually really cute. So I gotta say, these 3D models right here look fantastic, actually. So I'm really curious, like, will they look equally as good when we play them in Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee? Because the, the, the gameplay that we trailers we've seen, the, it seems like it's a little bit of a downgrade because it is on the Switch. And it could be the TV they recorded from or the monitor. But, like, on the PC like that, it looks, like, hella good. It looks really fresh. Uh, you've got Eevee there with, like, a bucket. And that's adorable, by the way. It's got a bucket on its head. Um... And we continue through here. They actually talk a bit about gameplay here. So you're actually in the bedroom. Now, we haven't seen the bedroom of the male character yet. And this is how it looks like. I think we haven't seen it yet in terms of, like, trailers. Uh, and here you can see you've got a Switch. You've got the Switch controllers. You've got a TV and the TV controller right there. And then you can move around. So apparently you can play... There is actually three ways to play the game. And I think somebody made a post about this uh, specifically, which I don't think... I'm not sure if it... Oh, there it is, actually. So it looks like playing the uh, playing with one Joy-Con isn't the only way to play Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Um, and I think, actually... Uh, let me see. Jinx Club, I think, tweeted out specifically as well, saying that, like, there is, like... Um, there's, there's different ways to play it. Uh, signs uh, signs in P uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee are written in Pokemon language from the anime, not in any real language. Pikachu sniffing your hand is so cute. You can change the angle of the Pokedex, which I'm going to check that out as we continue through this gameplay here because we're actually watching it. So um, apparently you can play with a Joy-Con just with one Joy-Con, but apparently there's another way to play it, which I haven't seen yet. So I want to figure out how that's going to work. So we continue on here. You've got your rival showing up, which uh, is talking to you. Nothing crazy there. You walk out. I guess you... Um, walk downstairs actually no he like you teleport out so you don't actually walk down into the uh living room and there's a little like cutscene animation here you've got a girl outside you've got the professor's lab you know pallet town just like looking good overall i've got to say it does look pretty darn like good the game in itself like i can't deny that like, of course it isn't as good looking as some other games like uh dragon quest 11 and stuff but it still looks pretty darn good compared to what we had previously i've got to be honest but it still isn't like to that level which i hope pokemon can reach with 2019's game but You've got uh, just normal gameplay. Uh, actually, what he does here is, I feel like, wait, is he just going to catch a Pikachu right away? Okay, there's a Pikachu right there, and you're going to actually catch the Pikachu and then receive it? That's really, okay, that's just, I don't know, that's a bit odd. So, you're going to receive it right here. Okay, let's continue. Um, in terms of gameplay, it just looks pretty, like, pretty much stuff we've seen in the past. Nothing too uh, odd. Um, the Pokedex looks normal. It continues on. You can see, like, the visual aspects of when you enter a new area, a new route. Uh, you've got Pokemon kind of popping up out of nowhere. You've got a Pidgey right there, which he's going to, you know, battle. There you go. He's going to catch it. So you can catch it just like that. It's nothing crazy. We've already seen most of this. So I'm just going to try to break it down as much as I can. Whatever I see. So you got the Pokedex. It's being entered into Pokedex. You can actually... Oh, you can rotate it. That's awesome. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. Because that's good for, like, uh, when you need to, like, you know, kind of get, like... Maybe, maybe, like, you get a... For example, I mean, there's no spin does in this. But if, like, they keep that feature of future games, it'd be nice. Because, like, if you get a spin that you want to see all its, like, patterns and stuff, that'd be awesome. But uh, that's actually pretty cool. You've got Rattata popping up, uh, which he's going to, I assume, just catch. Yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, you level up all your Pokemon. We already know about this. Uh, Root... I mean, the root here looks normal. There's nothing crazy about it. Uh, so in the bushes, you can find uh, different items. As far as I remember, they told us about that. You can't battle that kid. You're back in the professor's lab. And um, looks like your rival's there as well. He looks a bit ominous in some areas. Like, sometimes his eyes are just, like, looking hella ominous. But other times, it just it doesn't feel like there's anything crazy going on. And here's the battle with your actual rival, the first one you have. And he's going to have the opposite Pokemon that you have. So if you play Let's Go Pikachu, you will automatically get Pikachu. You can't have Eevee. But if you're playing Let's Go Eevee, you can you only get Eevee. You can't get Pikachu as your starter. And your uh, rival is going to have the, you know, the vice versa or the opposite of what you have. Which would be Pikachu or Eevee. Eevee, Pikachu, so to say. And you defeat him. Nothing crazy. You go out. You're about to leave town. Uh, I guess she's going to do something. She's going to show you how to take care of your Pikachu. Uh, which, oh, this is, oh, so you can shake it. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not really the biggest fan of these sort of things. Like, I never really, you know, do these sort of things. But I guess it's pretty cool that they added these in. Though I never really do, like, these sort of, like, a little, like, 
weird things where like you gotta you know take care of your pokemon by scratching it and all that stuff never really do that so you've got the controller right here which i haven't seen how it works just yet i think i mean i'm really confused so oh you can actually oh it works like a joy con i didn't realize that i mean i thought it was mainly just oh, okay so it's a controller see this okay now i get it so people were telling me this it's a controller but i was like how would you control it is like on the top or where would you do it so it's at the actual pokeball like the little button or whatever um okay cool that, that's how you control it that's interesting huh or is it? Is it that? Wait, is that how he controls it? I'm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, but like, how would do you have buttons on it? I assume you would have buttons on it for like when pressing and stuff. Otherwise, you, wouldn't it make it a bit complicated? And then of course you got the blue, uh, the blue aura, which just shows that Pokemon is bigger or smaller, which uh, you know, kind of same old, same old. Uh, he's at the gym right now. This guy's got a lot of gameplay here. He's got he's going to he's going to the gym, and uh, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Let me see. Is he gonna play it in the uh, like in the actual handheld format? Because I would love to see how that looks like. Because I don't think we've seen too many people play it in handheld, like, in gameplay and stuff. And he's going to take on the Onyx. Okay. Uh, he's got a double kick. Yep. There's, hmm, does decent damage. Actually, they've also... It looks like they've... Oh, they've lowered the level of Onyx as well. Yeah, they sh this was shown, I think, in a previous trailer as well. That they've lowered the levels of the gym leaders. Which is a little bit disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. But it is what it is. So, yeah, guys. That's going to be just about it, guys, though. That is just about all the information we have. I mostly wanted to talk about Pixel Par. And this awesome, like, the, like the fact that this man knew, like, this, this is, this, this is insane. This man is a genius. I freaking love Pixel Par. I can't believe the man was right. Shout out to this dude. Keep track of him. I'm keeping track of him. No, I'm keeping track of him 24-7. Also, I just muted myself by accident. I keep track of him 24-7 for when he posts and, like, when he's got some good information coming out. Guys, this man is a legend. I can't even express, like, how freaking hyped i am that he's in the community and he's sharing this information to us he's not even the biggest fan of pokemon because i've talked to him like in private and he's, he's like i'm not even the biggest fan of, a fan of pokemon but i just like you know uh, sharing this stuff with people it's kind of just like what he does or like it, not that he likes it but rather like it's just the thing he does right uh now the purpose is for his you know sharing of information and hype training us i don't know but hey it is what it is the man is a legend i love him let's go and uh, end off this video for today guys thank you so much for watching i will thank you all for being here if you guys want to check out any of these things i'll link it all down below thank you so much i'll see you all the next time have a great day and bye bye ladies and gentlemen